something really interesting with this character that I find fascinating, which is that he genuinely really does just want to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. But everywhere he goes, whether it's a new town or a new bar, people just kind of give him a hard time and they rag on him despite the fact that he has great intentions. I'm curious if that's comparable to this sort of world, this culture of toxic fandom, where like if you make a movie, especially if you make a superhero movie, it does, like you have great intentions, but there are always gonna be a small yet vocal group of people there can kind of just be toxic. I understand what you're saying, but when it comes to fans, it is a fan's right mm -hmm. to have whatever opinion they want to have. And people are gonna be upset because, especially when it, you're talking about books or games, because you're never going to be the exact person who they had in their head or who they played on Witcher 3, for example. I don't necessarily consider that toxic. I just consider that passionate. Mm -hmm. And it's something... Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand. And what you just seen was a short clip from an interview that is a little bit longer, so I will put that in the link in the description. But it is an interview from Jake Hamilton. And I don't know exactly who he is. I know he's got just a YouTuber as far as I know, but it seems like there's more to it with to get the interviews he's gotten. So this was obvious bait. Um, you can tell by what he's asking that he wanted a different answer. What he got was fucking epic. I absolutely love this. Um, you couldn't be more on the nose. And as a person from Hollywood, it's kind of not what we'd expect. We expect to be called toxic or trolls or alt-right or something like that. It's pretty normal. Um, this was perfect. I absolutely adore Henry Cavill for multiple reasons. I love his Superman. Um, now we're going to get to see him in The Witcher. So when you think about passion, and that's what he's talking about, you know, these, these fans aren't toxic, they're passionate. Think about your favorite... You know, soup, whether it's a superhero, your favorite video game, whatever it is, you have an idealized version of them in your head. Now, um, for me, obviously it would be Batman, but when it comes to that, I don't think of Robert Pattinson. So, for me to criticize that, um, and I've been extremely critical of that, I would be a toxic fan, right? I've had comments before, you know, saying, why don't you just, if you're such a big DC fan, why don't you just actually give them a chance or not actually give them a chance, but basically saying, why don't you just absorb what they're putting out there and not criticize? Well, I think we've gotten to a point in our society where, you know, any sort of criticism is deemed toxic and that's not how it should be. Nobody is above criticism, whether it's me, whether it's other people, um, even, you know, it sounds silly, but I got a comment one time. It was very constructive criticism. It was how I used to pose in my pictures and I would, for some reason, have them very close. I backed them off and it looked a lot better. That one constructive criticism made every single thumbnail after better. So to criticize is not a bad thing. It doesn't make you toxic. It makes you, you know, actually maybe take what people have to say and you know absorb it and use it and make something better and that's exactly what I did and it also talked about um, different things with my mic I improved my mic these things when people say them are honestly really good because it changes your perspective a little bit see something from an outside view and you can make and grow from them and I love that he did not call out fans like most people would have because honestly, if you put anybody else in that chair, and you know, this was bait. He was trying to get a very clickbaity like, oh, Henry Cavill calls fans toxic. No, it didn't work and I love it. Um, the funny thing is, is this isn't the first time we've seen Henry Cavill kind of come into backlash and even CBR, ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. You are absolutely fucking ridiculous saying The Witcher's Henry Cavill has a surprising stance on toxic fandom. No, he has a great stance on fandom. Fandom in general. There's nothing toxic about being a fan and supporting something. Um, but like I said, it's not the first time Henry Cavill's kind of came into controversy about what he deems of society. And he's kind of the wrong think when it comes to Hollywood and gets shit for it. Um, do you guys remember back, it had to be over a year ago, 
when he said stuff about dating and it wasn't good enough. I actually have the quote he says, because it's like then I don't want to go up and talk to her because I'm going to be called a rapist or something, he said. So you're like, forget it. I'm going to call an ex um, and then go back to a relationship, which never really worked. But it's way safer than casting myself into the fires of hell because I'm something in the public eye. But if I go and flirt with someone, then who knows what could have happened. He's absolutely right. In a post Me Too era that we're living, men can't even go up to a bar and, you know, buy a girl a drink because they'll assume something. Or especially when you're public like that, he needs to be so careful. And it's really, really quite a shame because he does seem sort of somewhat of a romance. He says there's something wonderful about a man chasing a woman. There's that traditional approach to that, which is nice. I think a woman should be wooed and chased, but maybe I'm old-fashioned thinking like that. I absolutely love it. I think he is so on the nose when it comes to this. I do think he is a smart, I think he's an intelligent man. Obviously, he's a very good-looking man, but it's unfortunate that he has to go through this when it comes to Hollywood just for simply living in a Me Too world era, which has nothing to do with toxic fandoms. I just think it's bullshit that he even had to apologize for that. But that's old news. Like I said, what I should be talking about is the toxic fandoms. And I completely think that Henry Cavill did an absolutely amazing job when it comes to this. I have a lot of respect for this. I am shocked, honestly. Let me know, of course, what you guys think about this little interview here. I, I, nothing but respect, dude. Absolutely. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. And I want to give a huge shout out to my subscribe star and Patreon. You guys literally make this channel possible. Thank you so much, Sanjuro, Way Else One, BG Torrance, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Grand Smear, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Jeremy Burtz, Mike Buckner, Robert, and Timothy French. You guys are freaking amazing thank you so much and make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye